Angelo here. Welcome to my channel. And welcome back. Here is my stream. And again, I'm joined by my brother, Mono. Yo. And basically, today we are going to be talking about... This is kind of like a uh, continuation to what just happened yesterday. Or... How should we even word this? <laughs> well... And this is just continuation from the 3.16 Scourge League. Because I'm going to be posting this video after uh, we did the live stream. But this is going to be something that we're just going to be overall talking about. So we're not going to talk about what happened during the live stream. We're going to talk about what our overall goals for the Scourge League uh, overall content and all the updates and all that stuff from there. So, Mono, anything you want to add to the beginning here? No. Nice. So, <laughs> basically, um, something I always want to say, the way I've been playing Path of Exile is I'm trying my best to play it as close as I can to Preach's, but Preach has only played as the uh, Marauder. Just, so he's only gotten one way through and he just went instantly to Berserker. I believe, hopefully he'll come back during this next new league. And then we'll see how he goes and what he does. That'd be great. So basically, my goal every league to keep this new feeling. There's what, seven different characters? Six characters? Is there, is there seven? So we got the Shadow, we got the Witch, we got the... Uh... Templar, we got the Marauder, we got Duelist, Duelist, Scion, Scion. That's six. Did I say Shadow? I think you did. Okay, so it'd be like Shadow, Witch, Templar, Marauder, Duelist, Ranger. Oh, there you go. Scion. And Scion. So seven. Is it so? Yeah. Okay. Huh? Oh, wait, six or seven. Sorry, guys. You know, we're 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 thinking we're going off the cuff. All right. So, but. So far, every league, I've played a new character. When I first started, I wanted to recreate my Necromancer character. I played Burke in the Dirty in Diablo 2. Um, and when I played that game, I played as the male Necromancer. And of course, in this one, it's the Witch. The Witch branches off into, just like uh, you could go like Poison Build or whatever. But the Necromancer, I think it was just the Necromancer. And then you can add certain skills or whatnot. So... This game, you either go with Elementalist, Occultist, or Necromancer. So I did a Witch Necromancer. Now, again, technically, every single league, I can play the same character, but a different Ascendancy class. But I'm going all the way over. I'm going from one to the next, so I can learn more about the passive skill tree. So I can learn more about the items, about skills, and different weapons. So... Every league I play, nothing is stale. And not to mention, they are changing, updating, revising, reworking, making everybody hate the game. And again, I have no idea. Mono and I have only been playing this game since March. End of March, if that. So, all these other guys have been playing for years and years and years. Uh, we don't know what you guys are talking about. We don't understand it. And uh, <laughs> to me, everything's new. Everything is unique, and even with these changes, you can't expect everything to stay the same. And, um, I don't know, to me, being able to take this character class, and obviously I know it's not going to be the best, and I'm making my own. I'm not just grabbing, copy-pasting someone else's experience and their league start or however they're doing it. I'm doing it for myself. I'm figuring it out, again, because the revisions, the new things, the new mechanics, all that stuff is the way I feel that I want to experience it my way. Uh, I don't know. And for me, this the first one I told you I did, the Witch Necro. The second league, I decided I wanted to try something unique that wasn't in Diablo 2, and that was a traps and, and a trapper. So I tried all the traps, and then I ended up liking the lightning trap the most because it went long distance. And then, you know, after I finally made it, I died like 60-ish times basically getting out of maps because I kept doing every trial master <laughs> ultimatum which was cool i, I kind of miss that in the way but i get it and then when i finally made it out of there i enjoyed my saboteur uh sh my shadow saboteur and he was a lightning trapper fucking awesome then this this league i was like okay now it's time to go melee i spent a lot of time on that side let's see what's on the opposite side where the shadow is and that's the marauder big beefy guy he needs to use weapons and i was like all right what's what's pretty awesome that can also give me still some sort of aoe clear i'm like oh slam skills okay what do we got i tried them all the one that i ended up liking the most so far at the start was the uh consecrated path and um what was it and uh, tectonic slam i like those two and then i found out that i can 
with their new gem that they came out with with the earth uh, splitter gem or i uh, got I'm, I'm forgetting already there's so many things in this game um i put that on my totems and then my totems had consecrated path and running around slamming on everything so i was like hell yeah come on slam and welcome to the jam but now i'm going for the ranger and Again, something I haven't seen anyone really do or I haven't really done. I did it the first time. I did dual wield wands and things like that. And with my, uh, what was it? On my first league with my Necro. But now I'm going to do it with a Ranger. And I'm going to learn about evasion because obviously dodge is gone. So whatever your overall old preconceived notions of dodge, that shit's big F. That thing's gone. And uh, yeah, so... It's tough to say. What do you see, Mono? What 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 is uh, what's your thoughts after that? Like, are you gonna choose something similar? Are you gonna go something different? Oh no, I have a, I've already tried all the classes I wanted to try, and uh, I'm going back to a duelist. So I'm just gonna be a gladiator, and uh, pretty much level with Blade Storm, and just go from there. Find a skill I like, um, and pretty much. That's it. Nothing really flashy, nothing special. I'm hoping the defenses make it so I can use uh, different armor, different weapons. Um, hopefully, they do something so that uh, I can do a unique heavy build without being like an occultist or being a chieftain. Uh, you know, just something like that. All right, cool. Yeah, see, so again, I'm playing it completely different, and no one wants to play this way. I get it. People want familiarity. People want... To go back and be like, oh, I know how to play this build. For me, I, I, I want I want something new. I want to learn more about the game by playing it. I mean, I, I get it. You can you can study this shit and you can look at videos and guides and all that stuff. I'd rather just get in there, honestly. And now I'm slowly like Mono and I. We're the the first league. We didn't know how to get currency for shit. The only currency we were able to get was alterations. But I was amazed because I can take alterations, trade for chaos, uh, exalts, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I didn't learn about trading it for exalts until the very, very end because I didn't know that exalts was what was worth. And then the ultimatum, that was uh, Ritual League. Then Ultimatum League, we learned how to get chaos. And I think I ended by getting around like a thousand chaos. I think that was mainly due to the uh, ultimatum rewards. It was mainly due to that. And also I was able to get uh, a lot of delirium things done. And I would just sell in cluster jewels left and right. I would just alt uh, and or no, I would uh, alk and scour them. Alk and scour until I got like two or three, um, what was it? Modifiers on there, like like uh, or keystones or whatever the fuck the the good ones. And then I would sell those for like fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty. And then I sold enough of those, and I got like over a thousand. So <laughs> that was awesome. And now this league, I bought some of the most expensive shit I've ever got. Like. Uh, Mono was able to find this one axe that was like double influenced and then like he paid like what 20 exalts and I paid like another like 30 or so exalts and basically we were just farming exalts by either trading chaos and I realize now stack decks sell stack decks make some money and uh, not only that uh, I also found out that you can make exalt shards and of course you just got to trade influence items on un, un, uh, a full set, full set. So your whole entire character's gear have that loadout. You can make an unidentified. You get four exalt shards identified. You get two. So obviously if you want the, the bug of curiosity, if, if you will, if you try to figure out what it is, you're going to lose two. You can lose 50% of what you could. But if you want to leave that Pandora's box closed and never know what it could have been, you can get up to four exalt shards for it. So it's interesting. It's good, but yeah. Another thing I got to say, um, another overall content goal I have for this upcoming league is I want to finish the overall league content. I want to finish whatever that quest says. So the only time I've only last three, we've been in three leagues. Didn't get to Maven the first league, because we had no fucking idea what we were doing in that Ritual League. And I still don't really know how to get to Maven. So, yeah, that, you know, hopefully I, I get to fight her next league, maybe. I don't know. But I, I just don't know how to get to her. <laughs> maybe eventually next league I'll get to her. Because I, I believe beginning of early next year, when 3.17 happens, they already said endgame's changing. And the purple lady is... Possibly going the way of the dodo. She's going to disappear. 
So, Mono and I, we gotta at least try and attempt to fight her and beat her. So, talking about beating end bosses, I was very happy that both Mono and I were able to beat the Trial Master on our second league. Mono was able to beat him twice, I only beat him once. I, I, after that, I was like, alright, fuck Corrupted Blood, I'm gonna find shit that doesn't have Corrupted Blood. And, uh, that's when, uh, we beat him for the first time, but I died the second time. But Mono beat him, so Mono, Mono kicked that ass. And then, coming on this one, um... We recently, or we recently attempted together, but then I, I wanted to try and beat him because I needed more portals. I kept dying. It took me three, three tries, but I finally beat him. Ulroth, what a bitch. But I tell you, these type of experiences, when you beat the Trial Master, when you beat Ulroth, or when you beat like the quote-unquote league boss, the end boss, it's, it's a feeling that you can never really get or replicate other than that, especially if it's your accomplishment. Like, you didn't look up any guides, you don't know what it is, you're just trying to piece it out and figure it out yourself. Now, I will admit, this time, I lost a lot of chaos because I had to buy maps. And that was another good thing about this league, is you were able to buy the, technically, the pathway to fight the boss. Now, granted, it wasn't guaranteed because one of my portals was a, uh, one of my 84 or 85 maps was a dud. It didn't give me Ulroth, but all the other ones did. And then, yeah, beat them. And that's another thing. Hopefully, whatever this Scourge map is, hopefully it's at least doable and attemptable for me to get to it. And yeah, look, I beat Ulroth, and there's less than like a week left uh, until the, the new league starts. So hopefully beat by this time also next league, I'll also be able to beat whatever Scourge's end bosses. Same with Mono. I don't know. And, and just to put a guess out there, it could be very possible that Scourge is just like a, a new item. And the, the new content for this league is the reworked Atlas. And the uh, Uber versions of all the other content, like the crazy oh. blight map, the crazy bleach, or bleach, no, it breach. Could be breach. <laughs> it could be that, but yeah, that, that's a goal of mine too. If if there's like, if there's some sort of uh, league exclusive content, that's that's the number one priority to to get that done. And then from there, um, the re the reworked atlas. Mm -hmm. And then if this is the last shot at Maven, the, then yeah, obviously want to try to fight that. That's pretty. That's pretty much all the all the goals for this league. Because I, I I think so. I yeah. don't want to have huge lofty goals because I'm I'm unlike you. I'm I'm cheating a little bit. I'm super familiar with Blade Storm. I used it about yeah about two leagues in a row. I, I used Blade Storm the first time. I didn't really capitalize on it and keep it to the end game. The second time, I pretty much used it the entire league. So uh, the the reason why I'm I'm sticking with that skill is because I'm I'm confident in, in in what I can maximize it, uh, maximize my damage with it, and yeah. I mean, like something that I'm always tempted on going back to is either the necro because I I felt that's still strong, but I just didn't have a very good build for it. And another one I'm tempted on going back to is also lightning trapper. But again, I need to know what the fuck everyone else does. I don't know what ranger does. I don't know what that skill tree does. I don't know what's around that area. In addition to that, I don't know what the Templar does, although I've been told the Templar is super broken. And I know when I eventually play Templar, I'm going to do the full thing where I'm just there to run around and I'm going to be all depending on my Templar, uh, my totems. I think he's the guy for that. If if it's even like that. Um, oh, it could be changed. Because you yeah. remember the... Because he's... I'm, I'm not going to play him. Well, actually, no. He might be... It's either him or the Duelist. I think Duelist is probably going to be my last one. It's going to be... Uh, him him next, it'll be Templar after the Ranger, and then I think it's going to be either the Scion or the Duelist after the Templar. So, yeah, every league, well, I'm going to play mean, that one I character. Guess, I guess Scion would be last, because yeah, then Scion you would, would be, be last. Yeah. you would be familiar with every class, and then you would, I guess you would experiment and mix your your favorite of all the classes on the Scion. Correct, yeah, so so that's probably exactly how I'm going to do it. Um, It'll probably be Ranger for this league, 3.17 is going to be uh Templar. 3.18 is going to be Duelist, and 3.19 is going to be the Scion. So I already technically have my overall thing mapped out. Um, another thing I, I basically got to say is that uh, I'm tempted on hard mode. I don't know if it's a good thing, and I know everyone's going to make fun of it. It's like, oh, it's stupid. Why? You just can play the game harder, yada, yada, yada. But it's like... I feel that's going to be a perfect repli uh, replica or representation of how the drops and how the overall possible game for Path of Exile 2 will be. And I'm pretty sure 
And I've said it before, people don't understand that the whole reason for hard mode is to get the drop rates correct. So when we move, because obviously Path of Exile, even though Path of Exile and Path of Exile 2 are going to be separated, the overall game system is going to be different. So to, And I think they said eventually Path of Exile 2 is going to take over Path of Exile 1. But they can't change Path of Exile 1 because it's it's the game. But when they have Path of Exile 2, they can kind of make Path of Exile 2. And once that is a superior way, better coding, yada, 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 everything's better, upgrade, upgrade all the graphics, they can move it over. And then now it's 1. But I'm telling you, like, I, I don't know how exactly that's going to happen. And I think it's going to be hard as fuck to do that. But that's, they got, what, two years or so to do that? I'll be just about finishing up with all my <laughs> characters. <Terrible. play. laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much what we what we're thinking of. Again, we we have our small goal set in mind because again, we're we're workers. We're we're working class exiles over here, and we don't exactly have all the time to play. We still have to do our fucking type of nine to five kind of jobs. Although I, I work a lot earlier, I work mainly early morning. Um, like super early morning, so <laughs> I gotta kind of get whatever time I can in to play a little bit here and there and make content. And speaking of content, something that I want to talk about, especially since, uh, I I'll put a little tidbit of here in this video at the end here. And what's the guy's name again? Core A Gaming. Core A Gaming talked about, uh, Goin Mul, which is, a I, I can't remember, Goin Mul which I think is a Korean word for standing water or stale water. And basically just talks about stagnant players or possible toxic players. It, it, it depends on how, how you're talking about it. But you could also say it's just people that constantly play the same thing and either they're really good at it, but then that's... It could lead to gatekeeping. And this is just a hint. For a future video, I'm probably, we're probably going to talk about that more in depth on how we've been seeing that as of late, not only in just gaming as in terms of things like Dota and LoL and CSGO and whatnot, but also, sadly, I've seen, heard, read, and just, it's everywhere, even in Path of Exile, sadly. So that's for a future video, and... Uh, that means lazy people are going to be able to complete their trials. Yeah, that's, that's one of them. I mean, you can see it in the comments, you can see it in forum posts, but... Again, that's that means a, lazy people are going to be able to complete their atlas. Mm, you see that? And just, we were, what they call in Korea, like, goingmul, which could be just the standing water, you know, kind of that stale bad water in the way, because nothing happens, it doesn't get refreshed. You could also say that's just gatekeepers. That's another way you could just say it in, in America. And honestly, gatekeepers, elitism, whatever, but... It's something I've also been worried about and something I've noticed as of late. Hell, it was, it was, it was in DF2. It, it was in Dead Frontier 2 when I was playing it too. They tell me, you gotta be a bosser. It's like, I don't like bossing, man. I want to play the game my own way. Which is what led me to this game, which allowed me to be able to just kind of play certain maps I want to play. Play the content I want to play. I don't have to go through a, a content that I fucking hate. Yeah, and then that's pretty much why you, why, why you made this video. It's, mm -hmm. it's, hey, if, if your goal is small, it's still a goal and, and it's attainable. You don't have to look at somebody who plays six plus hours a day and match your goals with theirs. Um, you can just beat heist. You can just beat betrayal. Oh yeah. Speaking of yeah. that, I, I'm, I'm, I just recently, again, this will be a video also going out soon in the future. Is we finally we beat a bestiary boss, the oh the crab the crab or, or, or was it a lobster? Yeah, I think it's a crab. You a crab? It's like a something crustacean or uh, carapace carapace or, or or I got the boots. Okay, but anyway, he he's like he's a crab. <laughs> but yeah, it's it, it's completely fine to have small goals and be able to accomplish them and then move to the next goal. It's um. It, it's very frustrating to see people um, become so disillusioned with the game because they can't do every single piece of content. Unless you have all the all that time and all those hours to be able to, to learn everything and, and get everything down, 
you're not going to be able to do it within a three month span. So someone that has played since when the game launched, like 2013, 2013. So yeah. it's 2013. So think about this. Uh, I I hate prophecy. For example, someone got to play an entire league just learning prophecy. They got to play an entire league learning every single one of these small mechanics, and they had three months to interact with all of these mechanics. We have three months to do everything from blight to bestiary to betrayal to a heist to a breach to a legion and that's a to lot of stuff ritual ritual to, to like all these things that we don't even and a lot of times i'll, I'll ask people like what the fuck is this and, and did you know labyrinth labyrinth was a fucking expansion that's a whole other expansion like like the conquerors of the atlas that's another yeah, expansion that's not even kind of maven, maven is another thing it's like we literally just got in here and we don't know anything we're doing. But at the same time, it, it, people tell me, it's like, oh, go here and then go go trade. Go do this. Like, I don't even know what that is. Yeah, it's like it's like we're doing a 40-yard <laughs> dash. And the people that are starting at, at the two-yard line at, at the very front are are making fun of us. That, that that's, that's pretty much how it is. Pretty much, yeah. And, and I, I get it. A lot of players feel they should be rewarded for the time they put in the games. We've talked about this before. But at the same time, you're just a player. You're 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 just another number. I'm just another player. I get it. You you've played the game for a long time. Uh, I respect you. Your your knowledge, all that stuff. But what does that do for the future of the game? If you want one state of the game, if you liked uh, one crafting system, uh, one version of defense, one version of offense. What does that do for everyone else? What does that do for me? If you're just a freaking archer uh, or tornado shot archer just blowing everything up, uh, what if I don't want to be a tornado shot archer? What if that's the only viable build? Well, what if I want to do or, a blade storm gladiator? Put, put it this way. I also don't like how they're hamstringing everybody and then just kind of saying, this is it. And, and again, not to shit on certain content creators, but when they make it sound like that's the only thing you can do. Oh, I hate it because you need this many exiles to do this build. Do, do another build? Oh, well, you know, because all the other builds suck. This is the only one that works. It's like, well, then if you do the most popular build, you're going to get the most popular prices, which is going to price you out completely. Why don't you just do more? I mean, look at me. I beat fucking Ulroth. I suck. <laughs> Although, you know, I feel like I'm getting better and I'm learning throughout the thing. I, I even bought something. I found some good deals on trade. I bought like a, a cannot, uh, bleeding cannot be, um, what was it? Cannot be bled or bleeding cannot be, you know, you cannot be affected by bleed, whatever the fuck it is. Um, and I got it for like eight chaos. You know, I, I got a deal. Although that guy put that thing up like a month or two ago, but he actually sold it to me. Like, fuck yeah. I was already like super low on chaos because I kept on buying all of the different uh, Danig logbooks. Yeah, and, and that's that's how the game can open up to new players. Let's say a, a new player starts the game and they're like, wow, this Reaper summon looks awesome. But then because of the last league, um, let's say Reaper gets OP like Forbidden Right Totems did. The Reaper just gets completely shit on for no reason. So then that new player that really likes the Reaper and, and wants to go all in on it is like, wow, this thing freaking sucks. Why, why would we want to gatekeep a new player in, into playing a specific uh, pool of, of builds? Every build should be viable to, to do a, a specific amount of content. And that starts with the defenses. So, that's something I yeah. believe they're working on. And again, the live stream will... Yeah, During hopefully. my live stream, I'll stream it. And then if you want to hear what you thought about the live stream, it'll be more on there. This is just what we have planned and our overall goals for this upcoming league. And just... In the end, it just... we Choose things that you want to do. Do that. And then if you don't finish it, guess what? There's standard. And it's com it's completely fine. If you don't get all the challenges, it, it's completely fine. Uh, I, I'm legit. I'm just shouting out that one guy in the comments that has played like Herald of Agony forever. 
that person should be able to to play Her- Herald of Agony. Agreed. Because C- imagine if you could max out your defenses, you could really make anything work. Absolutely, you, yeah. You if, really if, could. If, if you don't die in in like a split second, yeah, anything works. And that's what I've learned this last league. Since I can kind of face tank things, I realize I still have to move. I because I'm I'm a marauder. I'm big. I'm beefy. I had some stuff, but you gotta move. Maybe one day. I could do frost blades. One I day. believe. I one believe. day. One day. Maybe. Maybe. You need crit. Well, you know. You know another thing. <laughs> Everything leads to crit <laughs> in the end. Because I was like, "Oh, how, how do you make that better? Crit? Yeah, sounds sounds about right." <laughs> and that's that, it. That's a project down the line. <laughs> so unless something else happens, and I think again, they're trying. We shall see. That's the elemental dot damage. Because if you can legit do all the damage with dot, there you go. You don't need crit anymore. Because dot. But, all right, guys. We've been kind of talking. And that, that's our slight rant slash ramble. You guys let us know in the comments below. What are your goals for 3.16 Scourge League? Do you agree with our overall thoughts? Do you want to call us noobs again? <laughs> As per usual. Simplifying defenses, that means lazy people will have defense. Exactly. Who wants to play a game and actually make it near the end? Or at least to the around about mid to end. Oh, man. But oh well, guys. Thank you guys very much for watching. And we'll see you guys out there. Later. Freeze. Who are you? What are you doing here? Hold your fire. I'm a human.